guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about Ephesians chapter 6, starting with verse 10, where we're talking about putting on the whole armor of God. Once again, if we're going out to gather cattle or to maybe work horses in the arena on cattle or whatever we're supposed to do, we clothe ourselves properly. If I'm going to gather cattle, I'm going to put on boots, I'm going to put on spurs, I'm going to put on either shaps or chinks, depending on what you're doing. You're going to put on a hat for cover and so forth in order to go out and accomplish what you're, you're, you're called to do. But in addition, don't forget the horse and the saddle. Why? Because that's the weapons of your warfare. And it's the same thing. This passage that we're covering is all of those things, the dogs are barking, are all of those things that you and I need to grab and put on and prepare for battle. And many of us just don't even want to go there. We don't, we don't want to go to battle, and yet we're in a battle like it or not because we have an adversary, the devil, who's trying to still kill and destroy. If you jump down to verse 14, it says, Stand therefore, having girded your waist with the truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Notice what it says. It says, having uh, girded your waist. That means you've already done that. Now please, whatever you do, don't engage the adversary and then decide, boy, I need some truth. You better have already girded your waist with the truth. In 1st uh, Peter chapter uh, 1 verse 13, it talks about girding the loins of your mind. Uh, again, what do we do that with? We do that with the truth. Your mind has to be renewed to the things of God. You. And so, and it's all, and of course, the word of God is the word of truth. So we gird our loin, the loins of our mind, with truth. We need to have put that on and know it. And then it goes on to say, and um, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, we have to have the breastplate of righteousness. Now, friends, I just want to tell you, it's not your righteousness that you're putting on. Okay, the Bible talks about the fact that the, our righteousness is as of filthy rags. So don't put on your righteousness, it doesn't get you anywhere. Put on the righteousness of Christ. Now I'm going to show you something in Isaiah, and it's chapter 59, starting with verse 17. It says, For he, that's Jesus, put on righteousness as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation on his head. He put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with a zeal as a cloak. Now, this is what Jesus put on. Now, the, the very armor that we're putting on over there in Ephesians chapter 6 sounds just like his. Well, it is. We're putting on his righteousness. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 that he has made us his righteousness. We put on his righteousness. It, the Bible tells us that God looks upon the hearts of men. So when he's looking at me, he's looking through a breastplate of righteousness to my heart. It's the righteousness of Christ that he uh, looks at or looks through to see my heart. Man, that's good. Amen. Um, and then it goes on to say, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Whatever you do, shod your feet with the gospel, the gospel of, of peace. You and I need to carry peace every place we go. We're not out to, to cause problems. We're out to show the world that the Prince of Peace has come and his government is on this earth. Amen. And, it, and notice again, once again, it says, having shod your feet, you've already done that. And then it goes on to verse 16, and this is very, very important, above all. Now, if you don't understand that, you need to understand it. It means above all. All these other things are important, but above all, it says, taking the shield of faith with which you are able to quench all, not some, but all of the fiery darts of the enemy. Did you hear that? Above all, man, we need to be people of faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. The faith, uh, uh, the justified shall live by faith. We need to be faith people. Why? Because it pleases our Father. Amen. So above all, take up that shield of faith. Believe in the things that God has said. Know that they're absolute truth. You don't have to worry about it. And... Uh, and quench the fiery darts of the enemy. And then it says in verse 17, And take the helmet of salvation. Again, that helmet's the same helmet that Jesus had on back there in Isaiah chapter 59. And the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Man, you got to pack this with you every place you go. This is the word of God. This is word of truth. And you need to study it and know it. Why? Because it's part of our armor. Amen. 
And again, then finally in verse 18, it says praying always. We need to be a praying people. Know that you have the right to come right in the presence of God and present your petitions. And he'll give you mercy and grace in time of need. Amen. We're going to finish this up tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve.